it's kind of tough getting this whole beast in the shot here. It's like 17 feet wide and 8 feet long. So, it's fully assembled. All the dimensions meet the print. And uh, here's the, uh, here's what happened. Here's the order of things happened. First thing I did yesterday, a couple days ago, is I had a, you see the wires in the ground? That was connected here. So they were probably a foot long. And this had a, a T-spacer like this in between. I couldn't get any SWR out of it. It was really bad. So today I grabbed a piece of, this is ash hardwood. It's used for cabinetry. And it has a groove machined in it. So I, tie, I wire tied these down, this one inch conduit down to it so it keeps it pretty straight. Shortened all this, clamped it on. Bam! All of a sudden I had like, I don't know, you know, 1.8 to 1. Wow, what an improvement over three and a half to one. So that got fixed. So then what I did was dimensionally with a tape measure, I added a stub and uh, got it mechanically where it's supposed to be. I don't know, I dropped the SWR some more too. In fact, it dropped about 1.5 to one, just as a dipole. Nothing else was on here. Reflector wasn't on here. This director and that director were not installed. So uh, as a dipole, I got good SWR out of it. And I said, okay, that gets me in the neighborhood. Then I added the front director here. You know, it's 190 millimeter spacing and it's a lot shorter. Look at that, it's a lot shorter. I forget the distance, but it's a bunch. So I put that in place and there's my setup. I checked it again from channel one to channel 40 AM. I got between 1.05 and 1.25 to 1 over the whole band. Hey, I'll take it. That's awesome. So that means I'm not doing horrible. This actually, you know, this guy, the short director, really helped. Um, in the slideshow of the, of the movie that I had found on YouTube, um, what this helps do is makes the antenna very very broadband you can the channel selection is way past the cb 11 meter range it's it's really amazing how this helps make the antenna so broadband according to if you watch the movie you'll see it i think i put a link in there somewhere <clears throat> um, i'll try to do that again on this video so then the next thing i did was i put in the reflector this thing's a monster i don't even remember how long it is it's really long and this little these are this is a three quarter inch stub and that's one inch tubing and it's clamped with that three eighths coarse bolt and uh as soon as i put this in the swr went to hell it's three to one on channel one and channel 40 which means this antenna is not resonant at all so i thought well let's finish it so i put the frontmost director on still swr is total crap so now you know, I know there's a lot to complain about here. This is a prototype and we're improving the concept. Um, it's mechanically dimensioned correctly, but you know, you got a whole bunch of steel, steel cabinets in the way and you know, a bike rack and a metal chair, it's crap like that. So um, anyway, there are some flaws here, no doubt. Now it's gonna rain like hell tomorrow. So I really can't take this outside and set it up just yet. So, um, I don't know what else I can do for this. You know, getting it out of here and getting it in free space would probably help. But I can tell you it was amazing, the SWR with just these two elements connected. It was just mind-blowing. It was so good. Sitting in here in the garage, right? We got rebar in the concrete. We got all that pipe laying on the ground. I mean, it's a total, total jerry-rig. But it worked. It gave me... The signal, I, I flipped to channel 19 here locally and um, I got a lot of static and without this thing being tuned, I didn't get anything. So yeah, it's that's kind of a weak improvement, but I'll take it. Anyway, so here it sits, taking up every square inch of my garage and it's gonna rain tomorrow. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next or how I'm gonna do it. Uh, with a tape measure, everything's dimensionally correct as it's supposed to be. Um, 
I think the biggest improvement today was the feed. Right here, I looked at a bunch of other guys' feeds on all kinds of antennas and they were pretty short. Uh, sometimes there's an inch, sometimes there's two inch gap in between the two. I just laid it here, I didn't care. I just wanted it in place to see what I can do now. You know, maybe I can change that a little bit. The feeds can be really, um, have, have a huge impact on an antenna. Uh, when I used to design 2.4 gigahertz stuff, um, it, it was massive, ma massive improvement. But you know we're talking 11 meters now, so it takes a lot to make a change. So anyway, uh, the one thing I did do is one of the hams on YouTube. He keeps the ground of the coax separate from the boom, separate from everything, so they're isolated. These two driven elements are not attached to ground anywhere. Well, sure, I could try it. I could put a jumper from here to the, you know, the boom and just see if it does anything. Um, but it worked. You know, before I added the reflector on it, it worked great. It, it, the SWR was, I couldn't believe, 1.05. Last time I saw something that low, I had my Starduster up. So... Anyway, it's just an update on Beat to Hell. This was a lot of work today. But uh, it's, you know, it was fun to see it improve. That, um, that feed was a massive improvement, just massive. That corrected a lot of it. Um, yeah, it's not weatherproof, and it's not a lot of things. There's a lot of flaws here, but the point is I'm making it out of scrap material. That's the whole point of this. Let's see if it works. See if it works, you know, six feet off the ground. I got some four by six pieces of lumber, eight feet high. However, I can anchor them to the ground, I will, and bolt this thing to the top, aim it toward Las Vegas, and see if I can get anybody up there someday. First, we got to get the SWR down a little bit. Um, I'll double check my dimensions and make sure everything's right. Anyway, this is it, kids. Sorry, this is just a ton of work and at least it's mechanically all put together. Uh, the feed setup is just tied with you know a piece of bailing wire and that's all that's holding it in place, so it's not stable. Um, I breathe on it in here and it moves. And one of the things I said in the video is keeping these two elements parallel changes the bandwidth of the antenna massively. Um, and if you push it maybe toward one end or the other too much, you can take it totally out of resonance. So, anyway, uh, I had some good good results today. Now that it's fully assembled, it's completely out of tune. I, I wish to God I had my old VNA out here. Um, then I could find out where it is resonant and, and make it tune, you know. It's just so much faster having the right tools. All I've got these days is a freaking SWR meter. But, I'll get there. I got this far. All scrap. The only thing I had to cut were these uh, stubs. These were like, you know, four feet long, so I cut them in half, stuck them in there, measured them to the right distance, and then clamped them down. That, that's all I cut. It was, that was pretty slick. <clears throat> um, anyway, it's been a lot of fun. Just wanted to update everybody. Uh, I'll quit whining and complaining, and then we'll see what happens uh, here in the future. I think we're going to We'll have some success with this thing. Anyway, thanks for putting up with me. See you, bye.